Ryan, the level of smoke appears to have decreased within the past 15 minutes or so. We've seen more white smoke, which of course is a good sign, meaning that firefighters are making progress as opposed to the black smoke, which means that parts of the building are still burning. We are still seeing a mix, but the majority seems to be the white smoke, and I'll get out of the way so you can see that. Again, you see dozens of firefighters and their engines here on the scene. You can see at least two jets of water working on this fire right now. And if you can see the ladder truck up there, it's even difficult to see the bucket at the top of that truck because of the level of smoke that we have right now. And now I want to bring in a business owner, Carolyn Tillman. You own a hair salon. Tell me how you heard about this and, and what the status of your business is right now. Uh, a realtor happened to be passing by and she notified my coworker and told her that there was a fire in Ingram Square. And uh, she told me I need to get down here right away. So that's how we found out that we were burning. I didn't know how close it was to me until I got here to see that it is my shop burning actually also. What's the name of your shop and how is it faring now? Uh, Carolyn's Hair Salon and uh, they just busted my windows out and opened up my door so I know we're burning as well. It's going across. And have you been able to figure out where the fire has started and where it's spreading? Give us a sense of the types of businesses and, and where you think the fire is moving. Well, well, we have the thrift store here and there's a new uh, workout gym there. They seem to think it might have started in that gym. Uh, there's a computer store there and then there's Jimenez uh, Physical Therapy. I'm right next to him and there's a barber shop next to me. And then there's the, the Texas Driving School and we have that uh, makeup store there on the end and Milan Beauty College. But uh, I don't think it's made that far down yet. It seems like it's burning on into my salon right now. And I guess they're going down as the fire's moving with the wind. Okay, Carolyn, hold on right there. I'm gonna ask Paco, my photojournalist, to show the business there if you can, zoom in a little bit. You might be able to see Carolyn's uh, shop right there and describe what you've seen over the past You've been here 30 or 45 minutes. Tell me how the smoke level and everything has changed since you've arrived. It's changed. When I first got here, it was very, very dark, very black smoke. You can see flames actually shooting in the building. So it's kind of calmed down now. The smoke has died down. And tell me about your business and how long you've had it and what are your thoughts as you wait on the firefighters to do their work? Well, I'm actually, I was standing here about to have a heart attack. I've been here 23 years. Um, I, I just, I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to work or do anything. Um, I, I'm hoping all of my equipment's not ruined, but from the looks of it, we're not going to have anything. And how long have you been in this spot here? I've been here 23 years. Yes. It's been a lot of hours there. A lot of hours, lots of days. As a matter of fact, I just left the salon at 7 o'clock. Nothing was going on. And now a couple of hours later, you see the major response here. What are your coworkers saying? If you've reached out to any of them, this is my this is my coworker Julia uh, Chris, and we're like devastated. She called me, Carolyn. We need to get to the salon. We're burning. So, Julia, let me bring you in as you watch this. Your thoughts? I'm devastated. You know, it's um, a place I enjoy working, and it's where we come talk, fellowship, and get your hair done. So it's 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 a hard deep. Do you even know what your next steps are? I mean, you're just really waiting to see the extent of the damage, I take it. Yes, just waiting to see the extent of the damage. We have lots of products in there, lots of equipment. Um, just have to wait and see, uh, you know, what's left. Okay, well, we wish you both the best. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Let's take another look at the fire here as some of the business owners are waiting to see the extent of the damage. Again, you see a mix of dark smoke and white smoke as the water continues to pour on top of this strip mall, Ingram Square, not far at all from Ingram Park Mall. The anchor of this is, um, if Paco, if you'll shift to the left a little bit, pan to the left, you can see the Texas Thrift Store. That seems to be the anchor of this, uh, this uh, little shopping center here. And then there are a number of smaller businesses on either side, including that hair salon that we were just telling you about. We don't believe there was anyone there at the time. Is that right? Randy, I don't have confirmation on that just yet. I've been contacting uh, the fire spokesman between our live hits here, and they have been arriving. They're probably on scene now, but there are so many people here that it's 
incredibly difficult to ascertain where they might be. I've been calling them and I've got relatively limited information officially at this point, so no confirmation on whether anyone else might have been here, but we have heard from at least a couple of the businesses that their folks evacuated right away, and it appears that the danger may be limited to the firefighters, those first responders who came here to put out this fire. And the last update I got from the fire spokesman, Joe Arrington, he had sent me a text and said the fire chief will brief you as soon as possible. This is going to be an extremely long operation. Please, please be patient with us. That was about 11 o'clock. Last time I checked, the fire department had 61 units here on the scene. That shows you the level of resources committed to this. And pretty much the majority of this parking lot is filled with first responders. As I mentioned earlier, this is usually a place for people to come and do their shopping and to get their hair done and to work out. And now it's turned into this major operation as at least two, three, maybe even more businesses have sustained some major damage and some potential human cost here as well with regard to the San Antonio Fire Department. Both fire spokesmen are here on the scene and have uh, said that we will need to wait for information, which is relatively unusual at these scenes. The fire department is typically among the best spokesmen in the city. They get back to us with our phone calls and messages very quickly and they show up to a lot of these scenes and help us out. So uh, at this point they are staying pretty quiet and not saying a lot. Last update was that the fire chief would brief us as soon as possible. But that was about 70 minutes ago. Still waiting and I see two, three, four, maybe more firefighters in there right now with flashlights beyond that tarp. We just moved to get into a better position. You can see some of the folks positioned in front of the business that appears to be the focus of the firefighters' attention. Federal and other officials have lined up there outside what could be the Spartan Box, one of the businesses here at Ingram Square, which is to the right of the Texas thrift store, which anchors this shopping center. Again, not far from Ingram Park Mall, just off Loop 410, a place that if people don't stop here, they probably see as they travel around the northwest side of San Antonio. And again, in terms of the smoke level, we'll see a bit of that, but it appears that the focus on the fire has shifted to the safety and the welfare of some of these firefighters. About 20 seconds ago, you start to see what appears to be a procession here. Everyone with their sirens going, EMS command coming by now, and other engines in a line here, heading out of this shopping center, Ingram Square. Sort of a chilling moment as those sirens came on at the same time here. And we haven't gotten any official confirmation on exactly what is happening now, but as you mentioned, one firefighter unaccounted for according to our sources, and while that hasn't been confirmed, this is another indication of the gravity of this situation.